Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person and what they're thinking, feeling about you, what their intentions are towards you and your next actions. Um, as always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Capricorn Spirit Angels guys. Messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn regarding what the person is currently thinking, feeling about them. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? Okay. What do we need to know? about this person's energy. I was going to cut the deck, but I guess we'll just pick the cards for Capricorn. What is this person thinking, feeling? Oh, I can't, I keep getting this energy. Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, and then we have the Five of Swords. So some sort of conflict with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is about, you know, someone taking advantage of the situation being deceptive, unfair, they play dirty, they start, they also self-sabotage the Five of Swords. So you could be dealing with a problem as a couple or outside of you there's problems that are affecting your connection or maybe they haven't treated you so well, vice versa, or there's just some sort of problem that exists. I feel when your person thinks about you, there is love here with the Ace of Cups, genuine feelings, um, but I feel like they're waiting for something to happen because of this conflict. It's like maybe they're waiting for you, waiting for a response from you, or waiting to take some sort of action. So we're going to have to clarify and see. Bottom of the deck, we have the star, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy about having hope or faith in something, healing, renewal, that you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or they might be thinking about healing a situation. We'll see. Let's get some more energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Capricorn Spirit. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Capricorn. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. Someone's feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. What else? What else do we need to know? Judgment call. Judgment calls being made using logic and reason. Um, interesting. And then there's far apart at the bottom of the deck. Distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. So I think that someone's doing something about this stuck feeling, whatever they're trapped in, whatever they're dealing with, where they might be feeling stuck, they want to do something about it. I feel like I'm speaking to a Capricorn where you're not with this person or they feel very distant from you right now. Um, I think they want to like bring you closer together or maybe they just don't want to be apart from you anymore. We'll see. Let's clarify some of these spirit tell me about the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here the emperor aries energy and the sun mm, well the emperor is a doer masculine energy they like things a certain way they like to take charge they like to take action tell me about the ace of cups what do we need to know about the Ace of Cups? I think this person just wants you. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I think they are admiring you. Um, and there's the devil. There you are, Capricorn, with the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm interpreting this as them seeing you and wanting you, wanting to make you an offer specifically. Um, I'm not really interpreting this as like an unhealthy attachment or restriction or anything like that. I mean, it could be, but the other cards just don't really tell me that. I feel like this person's kind of like waiting. Once they bring you this offer, it's like they're hoping that that is 
what brings everything together where where they can control the situation or at least bring something back into balance which is definitely emperor energy leo energy here with the strength and then there's the hangman i see them kind of waiting on you tell me about this three of wands okay wow king and queen of pentacles i think this is what they're waiting for with you taurus virgo capricorn energy for you to be a couple for you to be in a partnership for you to be like divine counterparts tell me about this three of wands knight of wands yeah i think this is what they want to go after there's the nine of cups definitely this is what they want very clear energy so why the five of swords i feel like this is the problem like the big obstacle here tell me about this five of swords okay knight of cups an apology an expression of genuine feeling something being shared that's like a heartfelt what's this four of swords okay tell me about the five of swords so why this trapped energy tell me about the five of swords the hermit virgo energy well, when I see the Hermit with the Four of Swords, I think of someone that's thinking a lot. Um, I feel like this person is getting some sort of new insight into whatever problem this is that you have together or that's affecting your connection or affected your connection in the past. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Six of Wands. Okay, can I get one more? I get one more for the five of swords the lovers oh my gosh gemini energy there's the five of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like something got in the way between you and this person i heard someone say yeah them they they <laughs> they got in a way in the way of our connection now i don't know if it's like another person that someone's specifically thinking about or if this person's own actions got in the way of you having a good connection I feel like this person thinks you are the one for them with the king and queen of pentacles the lovers and then the emperor came out so it's almost like someone sees you as their divine counterpart like the emperor's missing their mistress i mean their empress <laughs> not mr mistress but anyways so i feel like that's what they are thinking here with the lovers but there's a problem there's a ten of wands yeah there's something in the way of this person getting what they want some sort of baggage some sort of responsibility some sort of like overwhelming i don't know situation or baggage let's get into their energies here we can get some insight to what's going on tell me about this person's energies towards capricorn what do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? What do we need to know? We need to talk. Man, haven't you gotten this? There's someone that's been like following my Capricorn Collective to talk to them. It's getting a little bit scary now. Tell me more. You make me happy. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, I wish I could be with you. Didn't you have this? Who was it? Yeah, the last time that, your last reading was them wanting to talk, wishing they could go back in time. And before that, it was that they were gonna reach out once they build up the courage. And before that, happiness doors open abundance is yours and the past returns before that so i feel like there's like a lot going on here <laughs> and i'm hoping that this is a different type of reading but we'll see can i get some more insight into this person's energies towards capricorn what do we need to know spirit 
engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, I think that's what this person wants. Yeah, reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. I think they want to come and, and you know, this was the similar vibe to the other readings that I've done for you, Capricorn, where it's like someone wants to come to you, a changed person, and with more serious energy. Tell me more about this person and what they're thinking, feeling towards Capricorn. I hid who I really am from you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, I feel like someone, I'm speaking to a Capricorn where like that's what this person is realizing is they're realizing something after an issue or a problem that you had or, you know, they've learned certain lessons that have taught them to be, you know, a certain way or to realize something, you know, it's almost like there's like a, like a transformation. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn? What do we need to know? We need to know. Destiny will help us find each other. Oh yeah, this person's very hopeful that you will reunite, that you will come together, that this divide will not be forever. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. And this is kind of the energy that keeps coming up is some sort of fear, hesitation, and that's why it hasn't happened. That's why this reading keeps happening. <laughs> that's why we keep repeating ourselves on this channel because there's someone that they, you know, the, the energy is really strong, but they just haven't actually followed through. So let's see, what are their next actions uh, or true intentions towards you? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person's next actions, true intentions towards Capricorn? There's the Empress. What are their true intentions, next actions? And the Emperor. Need to know. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. What are their next? My cards, my decks just want to talk today. So it's with you, with your sign. What are this person's true intentions? Next actions towards Capricorn. The Hangman. Okay. What are this person's true intentions? Next actions towards Capricorn. The higher font, Taurus energy. Well, the Wheel of Fortune, I, I really feel like they want a complete turnaround. The Fool at the bottom of the deck, a new start, a new beginning, a risk, a leap of faith. But with the Three of Swords and the Hangman, you know, I feel like this person is stuck in this energy of heartache, pain, and difficulty. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Ah, I almost lost my whole deck there. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So once again, with the Knight of Wands, someone that wants to do something, you know, again, that like, it, it's like, just like someone wants to be able to like move forward, take a step forward, but they can't. Five of Pentacles are like this instead. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the... Okay. The Moon and the Seven of Swords. Ah, oh, okay. Pisces energy. So, deception, mysteries, hidden energies, someone being sneaky. You know, I feel like this is what you're expecting of them. Or maybe they're just hiding how they feel very, very well. And it's just, it's costing them, you know? Not being open, not being honest, it's just, it's not working out, clearly. Clearly. Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman. The hermit reverse. Well, I don't have reversals in this deck, but I'll take this reverse. I don't believe in coincidences. Mm, Virgo energy. Again, the hermit came out already. But when he's reversed, 
He doesn't want to take his own advice. He doesn't want to listen to counsel. He's too withdrawn, too, like, in his shell. Um, this is someone that I feel with the Heyman and this energy, I'm getting this energy of someone that they know what they have to do, but they can't do it. You know, like, it's like someone gives them advice. This is what you should do. This is the steps you should take. And even they know that it's that's the right advice, but they're stuck. They can't. They can't do it. And honestly, I feel like it's because your person, there's something that they are possibly just not understanding about the situation. Maybe they just have, they've learned the lesson of, you know, let me not do that again. But I don't think they've learned the lesson of how can I avoid that in the future. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope that it makes sense. It's like they know how to treat someone now. Or they know that what they did was wrong. But maybe they need to learn how to, how to never be in that situation again. Or do some inner healing or some deep reflection on why they made those choices in the first place. Tell me more about the hangman. Tell me more about the hangman. Two of cups reverse. Yeah, this is about the separation. They're hung up on what happened with you. Like They cannot let it go. It, it haunts them. They're haunted by what they lost but at the same time they have to move past that and i don't think they have i think honestly that this person's terrified that if they were to come forward and be forgiven and start over that they don't know how it how to manage something good or how to appreciate something good or can i measure up to an empress. Can I really be an emperor to an empress? Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. I feel like this is what they want with you. The devil and the ten of cups. Yeah. Exactly. This is what they want with you. The fool, the devil, the ten of cups. They want a happy ending with you. A long-term connection. A commitment with you. Etc. Etc. They're hoping to have it all with you, but... They're just stuck in this one spot here. And honestly, I feel like it messed them up a lot. Knight of Pentacles. And I, I don't know. Why are my cards all coming out reverse? There's the lovers again reverse at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Cups. I feel like, you know, this separation, this ending affected them way more than they'll ever admit. And I think some of you already know that. I think some of you already know that. I don't see action here. I see them almost like waiting for the right time, but I feel like that's an excuse that they're like giving to themselves. Like this is an excuse. Um, I think that they, they feel trapped. They're trapped in the past and trapped in their own issues. Um, and so I don't think that things will change, you know, because every time that they want to reach out, something stops them, you know? And I wish I had a different reading for you, Capricorn. <laughs> for those that have been watching my channel for a long time, those that have been faithful to my channel, thank you so much, by the way. I'm sorry that this is still the case. Um, I feel like a lot of you, you know, from the comments, it's you, you kind of understand the situation, but it doesn't change how you feel about the situation. But I can't help that this is the message that wants to come out because your person's energy is so strong. Um, and I don't know if there's like a soul tie or special connection or bond that you have with this person. I don't know if, you know, this is a past life connection that just keeps repeating and just cannot let you go. I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's a reason this person keeps coming up. And I don't know if some of you Capricorns still think about this person. I don't know if this is just the spiritual lesson and cycle that your person is just stuck in right now while you are probably past it. But... It is what it is, right? <laughs> this is just what ends up coming up. So um, I'm actually, I was going to extend this, but I feel like I got plenty of information on your person's energy. Um, 
I feel like I know exactly what they want. I, I, I don't think the problem is their energy and, and I don't think that their energy is like complex, right? I think the issue is them, their own mind, their own uh, emotional upheaval over what's happened. The fact that they cannot deal with the separation, they can't deal with it. And it's just, it's affecting them quite a bit. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or if the reading resonated for you and you want to share how. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.